What's going on YouTube? It is Fearless here and I'm bringing you a brand new video today. I'm actually going to set this right here and talk to you guys. Sorry, getting on socks or trying to find socks. But I decided to flip on the camera and make a short video. One, because I'm going to get food. Two, because I've been slacking. And I just need to talk about the content that has been not coming out on my channel that I've basically promised and ignored my own promise to you guys with 31 or 32 some subscribers and trying to grow and all that I've officially decided it's only wait this sock doesn't feel right it's probably not my probably because it's on the wrong way no it's on the right way probably because it's not my sock that might be it it might not be my sock but I need my glasses I don't know what I'm going to eat. So, who knows what this video might entail. Do I have money in my pocket? Yeah, I do. Alright. Um, but, with the time lapse music, if y'all like it, let me know. All the descriptions for the owner who made the songs and all that will be in the description below, or the song. And, he's a friend of mine, so hopefully he don't mind if I use it. I don't know. I'm also trying to sell a camera recently, and that's been a struggle and everything. But I don't think you guys ever seen the house. So here's the house. Um, back here is the fridge. And I'm in the kitchen right now. Like, the fridge can't fit in the kitchen because, like, boom, there's the fridge again. Well, I almost fell. And then this is a small house. And then we have the spare bedroom. And we got a pet right there. guinea pig it's afraid of everybody and when you come here you got my roommate's room and then down that way there's a basement probably flooded by now sadly um speaking of flood get rid of this i gotta take out the garbage it's getting too full i always take it out though and i always do normally do the dishes too which is kind of sad Do a little more of that for her. And then we got the living room. What? Not that big at all either. Um, I don't know, I'm really thinking about what I should eat. Eating's a struggle, but a lot of the other thing is where my room comes into play. Front door, my room, as we started off in. Not that big, I'm gonna show you guys real quick where I game. It's a mess with car parts and boxes and clothes. It's not that hard to get messy in a short span of time, which really annoys me because I hate living in a messy room. Um, this is my six. I could try to return that, which would be extra cash. I don't know. I might do it when I run low on cash. Just return my stupid speaker that I bought for impulse buys reasons because that's what happens. Impulse buys, but. If you guys know, on my Twitter, I tweeted out what camera should I buy. A lot of people told me this for a, a vlogging camera. But I recently don't have a laptop, so vlogging camera kind of took the shitter. So, iPhone 7 quality. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm going to get ready. I'm going to hit the road. Hopefully find something enjoyable to eat on my way out. So, time lapse. Okay, we're heading out actually, and I had to make sure I had my keys. Always have the keys, guys. Always. 
Because if you don't, you never know what might hit you. And sounds windy as fuck out. Make sure the door is locked. I still don't know what I'm gonna eat. Shut the door. Don't give away the address. That was a close one. And dark out. About to get in the car. I'll hit you guys up when I actually got food or I'm at the place. Yeah, <laughs> TY in the building. Yeah. Oh shit. Motherfuckers know I got it. Yeah. Gotta give a shout out to Wise Guy Records, man. I'm ready. It's a little jazzy, feeling a little spazzy. Love the girls in office where a damn so classy. T's in the building, blowing through your ceiling. Fuck up on my business, not involved in my dealings. Never had a problem, just you for no reason. Profit on the track, that time of the season. Over the What's up? Alright, guys, I went to Chicken Shack. If you don't have a Chicken Shack, I feel really bad for you, but it is raining. It's like snowing out right now in Michigan, and it's actually kind of scary. I'm gonna focus on the road, I'm not gonna look at the camera that much. The snow is coming down, it's windy. Dangerous driving conditions. You know, we out here every day risking lives. Um, oh my god, I can barely, it's getting really bad. I hate driving in the snow, guys. I'm not sure about you guys. Let me know in the comments. But I honestly hate driving in the snow. It just annoys me. It's kind of a nuisance. Not more of a hate, it's just a nuisance. Um, but like I said, I want to talk to you guys about the content that I've been trying to upload but haven't been able to get to. And it's more of my passion towards gaming and Call of Duty mainly. Because Call of Duty used to be a fun game for me. I used to love playing it. I used to want to play it every day. I'd be at school just thinking about the game. And I'm just going to go because this kid's a savage. And I don't care. But I used to love playing the game. It used to be a fun thing for me. I used to be in school wanting to play it, wanting to get out of school, go straight home, play the game. Did I have homework? Yeah. But I would ignore it to play the game. That's how much I care about the game. Now, if I was still in high school, I'd probably be doing homework, sadly to say. And it's sad because I've been trying to make Call of Duty more of a job to become a professional Call of Duty player. Thanks to Nate Shot, I looked up to him. I wanted to be another Nate Shot. I wanted to be a young gun and be good at the game. And I played OBJ um, as much as I could in the game. I played a lot of the game. And if the camera gets shaky, the roads are really horrible. I know in the time lapse the camera got really shaky at one point. These roads are horrible out here. I don't know what they're gonna, when they're gonna fix them. Probably never. But I used to love playing the game and it became to a point where I don't wanna play the game anymore. It hurts me to play the game. It's uh, more of a, it became more of a job and it's not even my job to play the game. Like, I'm not even a professional or a top AM, and it's becoming to feel like a job to force myself to play the game. And I've been already working 56 plus hours a week at my job I work now to pay my bills and all that, and that's just exhausting as well with so much stress at that job. And then I come home and I try to play Call of Duty, and then I'm stressing on Call of Duty because I'm losing, I'm not playing well. It's aggravating. Um, Modern Warfare Remastered, it's an okay game. It, they, ruined a lot of it because of adding the supply drops, the weapons, and all that. I get they're trying to stay fresh with it, but they're ruining the franchise in general with all the DLC weapons, they like, like to call them, the supply drop weapons. As putting them in the games, you're killing the franchise of the game because some people that look forward to MWR were looking forward to the old field Call of Duty again. Boots on the ground. Two cameras getting shaky, I can tell, but boots on the ground, it was all nice, it was all smooth, it was just straightforward. You know what you gotta do, do it. Um, but it became more of, they tweaked the game a little bit where it's more positioning. It was like that in the old days, but it's more of a positioning game than it was back in the past. Back in the past, you were used to be able to legitly gun and run if you wanted to. You could run around, gun people real quick, boom, you'd be an easy win. Now with search and destroy, it's more of a how well can you position yourself before the enemy team can. Yeah, you can, can try to mix up the meta by actually just trying to run and gun through people, but if they're positioning better than you can run and gun to the positions you want to get to on the flank quicker, or they're watching it from a nicer position, you're going to lose the gun battle 
90% of the time. And it's been coming like that with most call these. With the jetpack call these, they kind of killed the positioning. There's still more positioning you can take on it, but more people can jump around, get out of the position, line of sight, and get around you and wall run, and then boom, you're dead. Which killed the Call of Duty franchise completely. I'm just gonna go through this because. Okay, hopefully no one's seen that. Um, because it's just the fact that Call of Duty has been a good game, boots on the ground. Ghosts, a lot of people say they hated Ghosts. I want to disagree. I actually love Ghost as a competitive game. As a public multiplayer game, I hated it. Absolutely horrible. With Clan Wars, they had way too many tryhards, way too many things going on in that game, and not enough weapons were balanced in public play around to where people were just using certain weapons, and there were so many cheap things you could use in that game with how many perks there were and how many perks you could set up as a certain way to have them set up to be totally invincible. Um, LMG Silence with Thermal couple of good perks to hide you from stuff in the air you'll dominate almost every time i dropped uh, i think a nuke on that or a chem or something like that i can't remember i know i dropped a high killing streak game before i was into youtube but with the game the way it's going if it keeps on going this path that they're taking for it with these supply drops and jet packs which rumor has the next call of duty is going to be um, boots on the ground, hopefully it is, and hopefully they don't add supply drops. Well, we all know they will, because that's what they're are for. They're striving for this money, and they're desperate for it. And they know people will put the money into the game, and that's the problem. If people stop paying for these things and these supply drops, and they just completely ignore it, say, I don't care, I'll just earn a deal fashion way, I'll play the game, I'll get the free stuff, and I'll lock the supply drops that way, it's going to sway them off of it, I feel, because no one's spending money for it. But the game's been dying for me, and it's sad to say I wasted most of my social life playing these games, Call of Duty. And Black Ops 2 was an amazing game. I loved it to death. Um, best game, best Call of Duty in my eyes out there. Boom, hands down. That's my favorite Call of Duty right there. Black Ops 2 League play was the best. But it's just the fact that they went a whole new 180 direction with it and they're killing the franchise and I wasted most of my social life trying to make this my job trying to be on the main stage and I wish I had it now like now that I want to see it as a hobby and no longer as a job it saddens me to say I wish I'd rather have did more social things at school didn't just go home right away and play the game didn't just go to friend's house to play the game when I didn't have internet like I wish I would have just been more social with people Maybe I'd have more friends. It's sad to say I wasted most of my friends are online friends. And it's sad to say that. It's really sad to just say a period. Like, I wasted a lot of social life. And I don't want to see other people do that as well. If you enjoy the game and you want to make it your job and you're enjoying playing it as it is now, push forward towards it. If you're starting to find yourself leaning off of it, like, eh, maybe this ain't for me. Maybe I just should maybe not do it. Consider it as a hobby. Play it as a hobby. And see where that goes. Because if you play it as a hobby, I guarantee you'll have more fun. I've been having a lot more fun playing it as a hobby than playing it as I want it to be my job. And that's how I've been trying to treat the game lately, is as a hobby, not as a job. Because I want to win. I always want to do good in my game battles matches and my UMG matches. But it's not going to stress me out if I lose. Like, eh, alright, I lost. Okay, move on. Let's play another one. Um, if we start losing too many times, my teammate does get frustrated you probably are watching this now and it doesn't frustrate me when you get frustrated but it does throw my game off and it just kills them at it and it doesn't want me to, I feel like not playing anymore and it's I understand it's like the nature of competitive you want to win you want to win you want to win but at times you just need to learn to lay back say whatever I lost I'll win the next one but we'll see how that goes um I love playing with the kid I've been playing with them since I think it was AW yeah that's what, I met him in AW and with his friends because I met his friends in Ghost and they introduced me to an AW and he's a good good kid you know who you are if you're watching this and it's just the fact that everything that I've done up to this point I feel like half of my life was wasted because I did not do social life see and that's all I'm gonna have to say for that um if you guys are new comment like subscribe share the video it means a lot this light makes me look ugly as fuck
Like, it makes me look like I have more fucking acne than I actually fucking do. It's kind of scary. Like, it makes my skin look weird. But, I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Alright, out. Oh, also, let me know how you like the new intro.